Hey, Gemini, this is your daily read for July 14th. Take it resonates, leave the rest. I hope you took advantage of that full moon last night. I hope you did some affirmations, did what you need to do to cleanse, release, welcome in the new stuff. I didn't get a chance to see it due to clouds, but that's okay. I still did my thing. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Gemini babies for today? July 14th. Emperor Power. We have empowerment here. You're feeling like a crispy new t-shirt. Aren't crispy new t-shirts the best? But you're still in your head about things. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles, the bottom deck energy, is the Knight of Cups. Actually, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So you are definitely figuring out certain things. Um, you are stepping into your empowerment. You're moving towards your happiness. And you're moving towards your strength. You don't have a hard time seeing it, but you have a hard time doing it. Because you do feel like you're... Leaving certain things behind with the Eight of Cups. You're in your head about it. You're like, I don't want to release this, but I have to. I don't want to walk away from this, but I have to. And you're doing it very heavy hearted. It's like, I regret to do this, but I got to do this. I have to, I have to cut this off. I have to set it free. In order for me to finish walking into my empower empowerment... This is what I have to release. I have to release the dead weight. And I feel like that you are definitely doing that. Whether it's a person, whether it's it's a situation, there there is a sense of disappointment. There is a sense of heaviness that you have to leave something behind. But it's helping you. With the Six of Wands, Six of Wands is about a victory. So for you to get to your victory, you have to cut off the dead weight. It's almost like you are running in a marathon. And... You're almost to the finish line. And the only thing that's stopping you is the fact that you're carrying a 50,000 pound weight. And you're like, I have to cut that off in order for me to get to the finish line and get my trophy. And that is how you're looking at it. You're like, I hate to do this. It's been real 50,000 pound weight, but I've got to set you free. So once you set this free, you're stepping more into your empowerment. You're seeing things... Okay, now other doors are opening. It's like, this doesn't feel so bad after all. You know, it just feels bad to go through it because you could be leaving something or somebody or a situation behind that you have put your heart into. But it's not going to benefit you by keeping it. And you do. You end up realizing this. You know, I, with a heavy heart, I am okay with this now you know like you come to some kind of uh, enlightenment or some kind of conclusion about it that you are um, doing the right thing we do have the knight of pentacles so the knight of pentacles is very slow moving you start seeing that things are going to build nice and slow it's almost like investing one dollar and it grows over time into a million you know so this is kind of what you're doing for yourself the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. You're not going to make any moves unless it's a solid move, unless you're sure of what you're doing. And every step you make is going to be very prosperous, very abundant. Even though they're slow steps, they are indeed steps. And each one gets bigger and better and greater as you go along. We do also have the Knight of Cups. I feel like that, you know, it might take a little bit of time, but your heart's going to get in there. As to, I am so glad I cut this free. I am so glad I set that free. Because I can open up myself to new and better beginnings somewhere else. Following my heart's content. Something else is out there that's aligning with your heart more than what you set free. So there is definitely something that you're setting free. You may not be in it just yet. But you will be. Because you're going to start seeing progress. You're going to start seeing progress. And it's going to start making sense to you. As to why you had to set it free. 
All right, Spirit, what energies is around Gemini? What energies is around Gemini? What energy is around Gemini? We have a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. What other energies is around Gemini? Could also be dealing with a Pisces. What other energies is around Gemini? Keep in mind, this these could be placements in your own chart or placements in the chart of the people that you know. Um, more than just sun, you know, so it could be anywhere in their chart. I don't know about you, but I do pull charts. <laughs> I pull charts from people around me. Because I want to know what I'm around. I want to know what I'm dealing with. What other energies is around Gemini spirit? We also have Taurus. Bottom deck energy is Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you today, Gemini. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.